Welcome to the Quest On Demand Backup and Recovery demonstration. In this video, we are going to show how to manage and unpack backups. After we are logged into the On Demand portal and are at the home page, we can either click on the Go button under the Azure AD Backup and Recovery widget, or we can click on the Backup and Recovery link on the left hand toolbar and then click on the Go button. I'm just going to click on the Go button on the home screen widget to take me to the Backup and Recovery module. To manage backups, you need to click on the Manage Backup link, then click on your organization name, and click the Edit button. Here you have two options. The first is to enable backups, and they run every hour. The second is to disable backups, and none will be taken until it's enabled. By default, backups are set to disabled. Currently, we keep all backups indefinitely. I would like backups to automatically be taken every hour, so I'm going to set it to enabled, and click Save, then Finish. At the top, you can see the message that changes were saved. Over on the task screen, if you previously ran a backup, and even if the automatic backups are set to disabled, you can manually run a backup by just selecting a backup task and click on the start link to run a new backup. As you can see on this screen, there are three widgets. The first is the objects, and currently there's no data showing because no backups have been unpacked. And then there's the events widget that shows what recent changes have been made in the portal and then the Tasks widget that shows what recent tasks were performed. Next, I'm going to click on the Unpack Backups link, and then I'm going to click on the Browse button to show a list of backups that were taken. Here you can see that I have a large list of backups. That is because I had my organization connected to On Demand for quite some time and have a number of backups. When just starting out, you may only see a few backups in here. I'm going to select the most recent backup and select Save. As you can see, the backup we selected is in the text box. One thing to note is that if you have unpacked backups in the past and you do not wish to see those objects after the backup is unpacked, make sure that the Clear Objects from Previously Unpacked Backups checkbox is selected. By default, it is. Now I'm going to click the Save button to start the unpacking process. Depending on how many objects you have in your backup, this could take a few minutes to a few hours. When it comes to the backup schedule, here is an example. If a backup takes two hours to run, there is a one hour rest time between backups, so you would have a backup every three hours. I'm going to click the Unpack Backups link under the Tasks widget to see the progress of the backups being unpacked. For the purpose of this video and speeding things up, I'm going to pause the video until the backup is unpacked, as it will take a few minutes to unpack a backup over 100,000 objects. You can see that the Unpack Backups task is completed, and now we're going to go back to the dashboard. Now that the backup is unpacked, you can see that there's data in the Objects widget, and if you click on the Show All link in the Objects widget, you can see the individual objects are now available to perform a restore. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. To learn more about Quest On Demand, visit support.quest.com.